We are here for Oz Comic Con at the Perth Convention and Exhibition Centre. I have a very special guest with me, Rachel Miner. Thank you very much for your time. I'm so excited to be here. Yes, and it's your first time in Perth as well? It is. You have been in Melbourne before? <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> yes, I'm trying it. Melbourne? Yeah. Melbourne, yeah, yeah. Melbourne. So that's the way we say okay. it. But we, we like okay. the way yeah. that, uh, that you say it. So I stick with the way you say it. So. Yeah, so yeah, and it was a long flight over here, wasn't it? It's very long. Yeah. You just you lose track after a while. I don't have any clue what day of the week it is or anything, <laughs> but it was all pleasant and nice and yeah. fantastic. So, well, I said welcome back to Australia. I said we've uh, we've seen you in so many things across uh, across the time, but I know you very well from as a kick-ass demon in Supernatural, Meg Masters, yes, yes. or Masters. So, uh, <laughs> um, so did you really enjoy playing that character of Meg? I loved, I really loved being Meg. Yeah. yeah. She was an amazing character. I was very lucky. I got to say the coolest lines. <laughs> exactly. The writers are brilliant. Um, and really, like, I think with that character, all you had to do was say those lines. And <laughs> you were just, um, you know, you're sitting pretty. Because so. you took over from someone else, or you, what they call a meat suit. I, right. I've watched every single episode of Supernatural, oh, and nice. it's still going. Yes. It's an amazing show, but, uh, but when you were in it, you took over from someone else. So you from were Nikki. In, from Nikki, that's right. And uh, we became friends actually doing conventions and, and all of that, and she's just lovely. And how I was really that, playing her. the same character? Because was it hard? Because you, obviously you wanted to be yourself, but you're also mm -hmm. following in a different meat suit. I love saying that. So, <laughs> it is so much fun. Uh, right? But you did, did the yeah. role so well, but uh, were you trying to... To be like uh, the character beforehand. I, I feel lucky because I wasn't caught up in that. Mm. I actually hadn't seen the show until I got the part, and then I went back and I totally got into it and watched yeah. all the episodes. But um, because of that, I didn't have something set. Like I wasn't trying, and I think if I'd seen her work before, I would have been trying too hard because you can't Worked really well be then. someone mm. else. Yeah. But I guess I think the casting people were smart, and the writers are so good that the character just kind of came off the page and she like she spoke to me as the way she was and people have said that there's a continuity and they probably cast us because Nikki and I uh, we became fast friends we're similar enough that I guess we had the same take on the character right away and yeah that's gold so yeah, yeah well you it was so sad to see you killed off though it was good but it was bad <laughs> it was it was very sad to go but on the other hand I I don't think I like it would have it was my ideal way to go yeah oh, you know you gotta, it go, was, you gotta exactly, go like that if, 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 that's exactly <laughs> right style. yeah actually it was very funny at a convention a couple of years before someone asked me exactly how I would want to go it, you know if I went that's and I, that was exactly that was what I said I don't know if any of the writers ever <laughs> saw it but I was like this is amazing so I was when I was reading the script I was like half jumping up and down and half crying it was so beautiful and yeah brilliant after being in so many TV shows slash movies, especially with the TV shows, yeah. do you, and you said it before, you hadn't seen Supernatural uh, or many episodes before yeah. you, you got the part of Meg. Um, do you sort of continue on watching the show? Or because there's so many you've been in, so it's probably hard to find the time. So what, what do you like to watch outside? Well, it's so funny because I'm, I'm, I think naturally I gravitate to books. I'm a big geek bookworm <laughs> so um so i tend to read unless someone points out a show that they say i'll really like and then i get into it I de i'm a binge watcher so yeah. i'll totally get into it and watch every episode and and want to live in that world <laughs> and you know it's it's funny after you've done a show because you've seen behind the scenes and sometimes that sometimes it mm. you know it takes away the the yeah. beauty of the illusion um, but I, but sometimes it actually endears you to it. Like with Supernatural, I feel like so much of what makes the show work is the heart and the people, and it comes across on screen. And I think that's why so many people become fans of the show because mm. you just kind of sense that, and it's actually true. It was one of, it is the nicest set to work on. The people, it's like a family, and the people are so good that that actually endears you to it more. So I completely got into watching it after working on it and you know I, I probably will always it will always hold a special place because of that
Yeah, it's still going, and I think because yeah. the the main characters and the support characters, they're, they're all so likable. Yeah, so, and and it's just very entertaining. And it day. is it is funny too because I think there's something about that show and the fandom and everything that so many of us uh, there there's a similar there's a commonality and there's something that brings us all together. Because I'm a Whovian as well. Like I love Doctor Who. I also love Whovian. Sherlock, and it's so funny because there's all the like the fandoms cross over, and there's a whole super who luck thing and yeah so it's beautiful i also loved you in californication you were in the first uh, you were in 12 episodes of that i think it was mainly yeah. the first season and a bit of the second so uh Good you, for you. You named, your character was named after a red hot chili peppers song as well wasn't That's it right. so, yeah i how, think they actually got in a lawsuit over that but really yeah. what did you know i, I felt somehow weirdly responsible but i'm not i don't know what happened wow yeah. but it, yeah danny california yeah, I oh, yeah. said. Did you have fun playing that character? It was I did. Uh, Runkle's uh, secretary. I had, I had a lot of fun. She was, she was, you know, another wily. Yeah, it's yeah. Like you, you troublemaking got into these character. Characters <laughs> really kick-ass I, characters. Yeah, it's and must be fun. I, I tend to play kind of dubious people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know good. what that is about me, but yeah. Fantastic. Well, while we're here, we're going to also help you out with Australia. So I'm going okay, to give you please a, bit do. Of a bit of a quiz. Please do. I'm going to give you a bit of a quiz of how well you know Australia. This is okay. your second visit Test here, first yeah. time to Perth. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Apparently I pronounce so everything straight. A few quick fire me. questions yes. for you. Now, how would you wear a thong in Australia? Uh-oh. Uh, I have no <laughs> idea what the answer to this question is. I think is. you would call them flip-flops. They're actually two. <laughs> oh, that's on your brilliant. Feet. That's so, brilliant. Yeah, they, they, they said they're over and overseas. Okay, I'll, re I'll return the favor. Though My uh, ex was from England, was yeah. from Essex, and we used to run into some, and the worst one he ever ran into was uh, with Fancy Dress Party. He got an invitation to a fancy dress, and in England, that, that's dressing up. <laughs> and uh, in America, that just means black tie. <laughs> So yeah, so that was the worst could have, mistake could have I've, I've ever Bond, seen. So. But it would also go for a thong. If I wore, <laughs> if I got an invite and was told to wear a thong, I will now be okay. You, so you can thank relax. you. So I told you we're an education talk <laughs> show as well. Yes, now, it's very helpful. I have to ask you, and yes. then the follow-up question: Do you know what Vegemite is? Yes, I do. Have you tried it? I never have. I'm I'm one of those like super healthy vegan people. Oh, I don't know. Can be is, is it? You got to be. Vegan. It is vegan. You got to be careful the way you actually yeah. try it because okay. when people uh, from America come across it and try that, they put a spoonful and put it in your mouth, then it's horrible. You know, right. if you're going to try it. Well, we suggest How that do you try it. it. Uh, light light toast and then spread it out thinly. Okay. It's, it's a little bit, not too okay. so much. So that's the key. Cause now they, I know. They try and trap. Yes. People buy this stuff. I've seen it before. It's like, why are you putting a whole spoonful? Right. I wouldn't even like that. So right. spread it out thinly. So okay. you've got to try a veggie. Now I know the trick. Okay? Yes, no absolutely. Mm. Give do me you, more. Do you know what a dunny is? No. Toilet. Some of the Aussie ways they call a dunny okay. a toilet. Okay. Mm. Now, if an Australian comes up to you and says they're fair dinkum, I'll give you this as a multiple choice. They mean A, not necessarily, B, I don't know. Or C, really? Fair dinkum. I'd say C. Really? Very good. You got Is that. that? Oh, yeah. Really. yeah. We're being okay. serious. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, no Australian barbecue would be complete without snags or snaggers. Now, what are these delicacies? <laughs> are they A, jumbo prawns, B, sausages, or C, steaks? Steaks? Sausages. Sausages. Okay, snaggers, I knew it couldn't be jumbo prawns because that was too obvious. Yeah, it sounds like they sound like they should be snaggers, but <laughs> yeah. they're not. Okay. Snaggers or sausages. Yeah. So, okay. You know, another one. Now, I'm going to finish off with this one because I've seen you've got so a sensational I don't want, voice. As a, as a vegetarian, I don't want any snaggers. <laughs> no, don't have any yes. snaggers. But I always loved your voice, especially in Supernatural oh. and Californication. But we, we, we want you to give us your best Aussie accent. Oh, I, I'm not even going to, I'm not, that's, that's just. It's not fair? Yeah, that's not fair. That's bad. I'll offend someone. But I might. <laughs> I'll, I'll get Melbourne. Okay. That, that I'll finally get that down correctly. <laughs> You'll get there. That, right that I promise. <laughs> Are you yes. looking forward to meeting the fans at Oz Comic Con? 
I am very much. That's so they're, they're that's my passionate. favorite. That's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. I I honestly I thought I wouldn't like these things. So I'm, I am actually oddly shy for an actor person, and so I didn't think I'd like being looked at. But I love getting to meet people, and fantastic. there's so many good people. Well, you're gonna yeah. love the people from, from Perth. Yeah. Uh, again, you're gonna have a fantastic time at Oz Comic Con at the Perth Convention and Exhibition Center. I'm Rachel, so excited for it, um, and you're just lovely. Thank, thank you so yeah. much. I said I, I was uh, thrilled and, to and meet and educational. <laughs> Thank you very much. I said it helps when you watch the shows. Yes. So, again, thank you. Welcome to Perth. Have a great time here. Thank Make you sure so. you see the sites like Kings Park and, and uh, places like that in Perth. But, again, mm -hmm. have a great time at, uh, at Oz Comic Con, and uh, we'll see you over the weekend. Thank you so much.